This tower reading presents a dynamic of narrative interweaving of themes of growth, upheaval, mastery, and transformation. We have the Seven of Pentacles, which suggests a period of contemplation and evaluation regarding investments, be it time, energy, or resources. This is often tied to the Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, which emphasize patience and diligence. It's followed by the Tower, which indicates a sudden change or revelation often associated with the energy of Mars, symbolizing upheaval and liberation from false structures. Following this, the King of Pentacles embodies success, stability, and mastery over material matters, representing the pinnacle of Earth energy. The Magician introduces an active energy, harnessing skills and resources often linked to Mercury, implying a time of manifesting desires and taking initiative. For our second card here, we have the Knight of Pentacles, which reinforces the energy of hard work and persistence. In contrast, the Four of Pentacles reflects a tendency towards hoarding or being overly cautious, suggesting a struggle between security and the need for openness. The Seven of Cups indicates confusion or illusion, connected to the emotional and intuitive realms, Pisces energy, while the Hermit symbolizes introspection and solitude, suggesting a need to retreat to find clarity. In our third card here, we have the Devil, which brings themes of bondage, materialism, and temptation, often linked to Capricorn, urging one to confront deeper fears. The Two of Cups signifies connection and partnership, resonating with the balancing energies of Venus. The Lovers further emphasizes choices and relationships, invoking the duality and union inherent in Gemini energy. The Ten of Pentacles suggests a legacy, a family, long-term success, uh, success, sorry, suggesting a culmination of efforts. For our fourth card here, we start off with the death card, which signals transformation and endings aligning with Scorpio energy, indicating that significant change is on the way and is necessary for growth. Following this is the Knight of Pentacles, which appears yet again, emphasizing steadfastness uh, amidst transformation. The Knight of Pentacles represents independence and self-sufficiency and manifestation of Earth energies, the Lover's Read appears also, reinforcing themes of relationship, dynamics, and choices. For our fifth card here, we start with the Two of Pentacles, which reflects balance and adaptability, resonating with Jupiter's expansive energy, and this highlights the need to juggle responsibilities. The Fool introduces new beginnings, taking chances, spontaneity, symbolizing potential and risk, often associated with Uranus. Justice is Libra energy, emphasizing fairness and balance, indicating the need to address karmic issues or choices made. And we finally end on the Eight of Cups, which suggests leaving behind what no longer serves us, a call for deeper fulfillment resonating with the emotional water signs. In summary, this reading navigates through themes of growth and stability, which are Earth, emotional clarity in water, and transformative choices, both Scorpio and Gemini. It underscores the importance of balance between material pursuits and emotional well-being, calling for introspection and action to align with deeper truths. Now, we reached the end of the video, and I just wanted to apologize about the last two videos that I uploaded, uh, one which was a tarot reading and the other was, was about MK Ultra. I have now re-uploaded these videos. In fact, just went with a whole new spread uh, with the tarot deck all together because of the fact that I had gotten a new laptop and a lot of the programs needed some serious work, maybe some reinstallation, some tweaking of the settings. And so inadvertently, while I recorded the videos and uploaded them straight to YouTube, what I had not realized was that the audio settings had issues and that no sound was recorded in either video, which kind of is uh, frustrating because, you know, I recorded these videos thinking that, you know, I put some of my best work into it that I was projecting, doing X, Y, and Z. And then when I heard utter silence, I was in horror, realizing that no sound had been captured or recorded by the program. And so this was upsetting. I had to go and do some work, tweaking everything until I could finally test it and make sure that now everything is functional as it should be. So if you like this message, please like, share, and subscribe. If you're new here, welcome aboard. This is a safe space. If you are returning, I thank you and love you so much. You make this channel great. In the name of the Most High God, I wish you help wealth, prosperity, and abundance, as well as blessings and protection. Have a great day.